Okay, so I'm going to get right into this paper, and that's because I'm going to be talking to you today about Autogen Studio. Well, the new one. All right, now, a few months ago, they had a paper that was released, and I went over that in the video, and there were a lot of people asking about it. I was like, when's it coming out? And I had no idea. I really had no idea. Well, today I had the answer. It's out, and we can try it now. Now, I also did a course on this in the beginning of March, and it's going to look totally different than what it is now. So besides the look of it, the reason that we're going to say it's the new Autogen Studio is because it's built on the new Autogen framework. So in this paper, which I have a link in the description that you can look at more, I'm not going to like go over this, right? But this new Autogen framework that has like Magentic One, this is what it's built off of. And this is the new logo, which I got to say, I like the colors. I like that new logo. So what we're going to do is in this readme, which I'll also link because this was within the inside of the releases, this is how we're going to install and then get started. And I'll show you what Autogen Studio looks like. Okay, so let's go ahead and copy this code. I'm going to paste this here, press enter, let that install, and then copy the pip install Autogen Studio. Let that install. I already had them installed. I'm just showing you that they are very quick. And then if we scroll down here, now they do say you need Playwright. This code specifically is just for your actually coding, not using Autogen Studio, but we may need that for web, the web surfer agent, but we'll find out. So then to run Autogen Studio, we can just simply copy this line of code and we can start our own local server. I'm gonna clear this out paste that in and then this is going to boot up a local server and we can go ahead and dive in and see what it looks like so when that's we're ready i moved myself over here so that you'll be able to see this is the local host you'll just click on this and this will direct you to this new screen now we're going to first go to team builder up here Gen the general layout isn't too different but let's go to the tim team builder top left and as you can see here, this is different. They first off have a visual builder module or mode, right? So we can scroll in, we can you know, zoom in here with control. You, and this definitely looks different, right? So they have, you know, you, you basically create a team and inside this team, you can have a number of agents and you can have a term, different terminations, right? So the, for instance, this termination right here, oh, by the way, yes, you can kind of hold, drag and click and do and edit these, delete them. Um, but for instance, this termination here gives you a max messages of three. So if you, if you remember from the, you know, which what, what was the only version of Autogen, whenever you had to, you wanted to terminate something, um, an agent in a group chat, whenever it was finished, you had to say, you wanted to reply with terminate if it was done. And then you were looking for the termination message property that basically had like the terminate in all caps, right? If, if you worked with that, that's probably something that you would remember. And then, so if we look through here, here has a, they will have a, like a default team for you. Um, but here I have one code agent. And then here in that agent, you can give it a model and tools. So they have like a little drag and drop here. So this model here, it has the GPT 4.0 model right here as a separate node that is attached to this agent node, right? So it's gonna, it's gonna kind of be this big thing. Oh, and you can enter full screen, but I'm going through some of this with you. All right, so you can enter full screen and you can kind of play around with this more, but let's exit full screen. Okay, so we're gonna come back and try to edit some of this, but first off, what I do kind of want to know is let's, let's like run something. The first thing I always love to do is just run something. Right, so let's go ahead and do that. So if we go to playground, by the way, this is called the My Web Team. So if we go to playground, I'm gonna create a new session because I don't have any. Create a new session, session name, test one. The team that I want is, it was called My Web Team. Create. Okay, so now I have this team here. And if you remember, this is kind of like a similar chat that we had before. So, okay, well, what is the height of the Eiffel Tower? Let's just run this to make sure it works. And this is going to look a little different. You get the number of tokens here. They kind of go through these steps. So if let's full screen this. Okay, so I start the user. We can scroll, yep, you can do all this. So you can start the user, then it went to code. This is the assistant agent, and then it executed the code, and then it ended. But let's go ahead and ask it another question. Okay, so this is a coding agent, first off. Let's ask it to actually code something. Can you code a binary search tree in, uh, let's just, yeah, okay, fine. Just do it in Python. 
Okay, so yep, it streamed it. Um, so it then said, hey, sure, I can do this. Here it is to implement it. We're gonna go ahead and create a new team. So click on the new team button. We go ahead and get our new team. So you scroll in, you just basically have a team, a termination message, the model, and then you have, and then you have a, an agent. Right, but we want to add maybe another agent, a different termination message. So let's go ahead and do that. Now, again, you know, take this all this with a little bit, you know, a grain of salt and understanding that they're working on this. Right, um, you, I, I'm, I've run into errors. You're going to run into some errors. That's okay. You know, let them know what the issues are. They're going to work on it. Um, but so if I want to get rid of this, right, what to do? You, well, you just delete that with the trash can item. Let me move over a little bit with this terminations here. I'm going to choose the combination termination. So I'm just going to drag and drop that here. You see it didn't work, but if I save the changes and now let me try again, there it worked. Okay. So sometimes you just have to save the change before you're allowed to, um, before you're allowed to add it, you know, it is what it is. So then on the edit button, you can now come in here. There's, uh, they have some configuration for this. So I do want, I don't want the max matches to be 10. I do probably still want it to be three. And so, yeah, so it's either one or the other. So I'm going to update this for the agent here for this agent. I want to add some tools. What do they have here? They have a calculator. They have a fetch website. Let's do fetch website. Let's just give it the calculator too. So you can see that it adds above, above the drop zone that is always there. Again, don't get confused by that. I got confused by that thinking that it would like leave or something, but it kind of doesn't make sense, I guess. But I have the two websites here and also at the top of the node, uh, you can see that it says two tools and the model is in green, meaning that this agent has a model. If it doesn't, then it would be grayed out like it is over here in the team. Okay, now I will say that it's kind of like all the way down here. Let me move these. Let me move these here. And so the content of these tools, the content is essentially the code that is going to execute. So if I hear, if I, this one right here, let me show more. Uh, okay, this is maybe not a good representation because I, I thought it would maybe stretch out more. Either way, th th this is just fetching websites. This is using requests and the URL parse library to, to do all this, but that's, so that's okay. Those are just simple tools. So it looks like the tools uh, is the content. The configuration is really what uh, is telling was gonna tell the AI what this tool is supposed to do. So let's go ahead and save this. Uh, oh, it, yeah, there's another thing. It automatically reorders them whenever you save. I kind of don't like that. Whenever I save, I want it to like stay where it is. That's okay. We're gonna skip that for now. So let's add another agent. Hopefully this works. That did work, cool. So this agent automatically has the 4.0 mini model which is interesting because I don't see that it actually has that model because I don't see the model anywhere. It says it has it, but I don't see the node for it. So this is the node for the model. Again, this is gonna be a little bit to get used to, but this node right here is for the model, but I do not see one for, for GPT mini. All right, well, that's okay. But let's go ahead and modify an assistant. So here you can just come in uh, you can actually change this. I think let's go, let's change this one to a magentic one coder. Say the name is coder agent and we can keep that stuff the same, right? Uh, let's just go ahead and update that. So that is a coder agent. Where did everything go? Ah, uh, you see it does like reorder things. It's fine. They'll get that fixed. They just, it did just make it look a lot more confusing. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you. This is way more confusing, but okay. After quick reordering, here's the team that has, that has two agents and one termination attached to it. Wait. So it has, we have to have a way to terminate what we're about, whatever we're about to ask it. Then I have this agent, which it doesn't have the exact name of the agent on there. So you don't exactly know what this is unless you edit it, but this one has two tools and it uses the four O uses the four O model. The one agent down here uses the 4.0 mini model and it has zero tools. Okay. So let's go ahead. We save that. So again, you just save that here. Let's go ahead and go to playground. Let's create a new session. We are going to select the new team. This is test underscore two. 
create and now let's ask it no, not that one let's say can you create tick tech toe please this is how it would say the file it would have the file the hashtag then file name and then this would be the name of the file okay and this is the actual code that would be saved in there and this is tic-tac-toe let's try it out well it worked and i beat myself okay so the next thing i did is i asked it to search for the latest ai news but this is where the maximum number of messages of three was reached. The current message count is four. So it didn't get to finish. So it looked like it probably got the HTML and then it was gonna do some more with that. So let's fix that real quick. And how we can do that, if we go back to Team Builder, then in here in the termination, let me zoom in, click the edit button. I want the max messages. Let's, let's change it back to 10, like it originally was. Now, if we go back here to Playground, I'm just going to do this with you. I, okay, so it switched it up. If I copy this, I wonder, I wonder if this will keep like the changes or if it's not going to take the changes. I have to remake a new team. I guess we're finding out. It looks like uh, did it. I wonder if oh, maybe, yeah, only three messages. Okay, so let's create a new session. That's fine. Test underscore three. We're gonna do the same thing again. New team, create. Can you give me the latest open Olama AI news? So I changed it and let's see what's going on. So it's going to the olama.com slash blog. Okay, cool. And this time it did work. Uh, so it went to olama.com slash blog. It looks like it got the HTML from it parsed it, and then it summarized it for me right here. So cool, that did work. Okay, so this is an error that you may run into. And I just, what I did was I modified the team to use the web surfer agent. And I modified one agent to use the web surfer agent. And then I did, the other one was the file, uh, the file system agent, F file surfer agent, sorry. So then I saved them, came back to the playground, and I didn't know exactly how that worked. I was just testing it out, but I got this error because I actually got this before with the Web Surfer agent. And then I asked, can you search online for me? And it didn't even get to there because it said agent creation failed, object has no attribute headless. And I had researched that a little bit and there's some sort of, there's some configuration, right? I even installed Playwright, which they recommend whenever you're running it through code. So I installed Playwright already and I still got this error. So I'm not gonna go any further with this, with that. I'm not gonna try to debug it. I'm sure they're gonna fix it. But what I really just wanna show you here was something that, you know, Autogen Studio is out here with the new framework that it is built upon. And I do like the, the direction they're going with this look. I think obviously there are some things that they're gonna work on and that need, need a little fixed. And then I believe that the AI agent framework, uh, or the AI agent no code, you know, builder will be better. Otherwise, thank you for watching and please leave me in the comments what you think about this and if you try it out.